Hey everyone, Xander here from Excess Game Podcast, and this is a video response to the Game Chasers on episode 24. I have no idea why I was doing this, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I I really like this episode. I found out about it when I got home from work, and um, I went on Facebook and saw on RetroWare TV that a new episode was up, so I started watching it. And the reason why I'm making a video response to this is because the Game Chasers are starting a contest of this new season that you can make a video response talking about the episode and you actually have a chance of winning a game that was on that episode. I thought this was a great idea. This is something that I think will, you know, give the Game Chasers more viewers and overall in the gaming community, you know, find channels with, you know, a common interest. So it's a win-win, free game or not, I think it's something that's really, really cool. First things first, every time I watch these convention episodes, it makes me really wish I could go to one of these. I, you know, fingers crossed one day I will go to MAGFest, uh, shirtless and all, I don't give a shit, and just have a good time because it'd be really cool to meet some of these YouTubers, gamers, uh, the venues, it just seems like such a fun environment, and I would love to be a part of it. But, you know, I started watching the episode, and some guys that I knew were in that episode, the Vintage Gamers, which are some local YouTubers around my area, and they have an excellent channel, and it was it was really cool seeing, you know, some guys that I knew that really look up to the Game Chasers and being on that episode. I remember when I saw it, I, I paused it, and I, I texted Jeremy from, the game, uh, from Vintage Gamers, and I was like, oh man, I just saw you on an episode of Game Chasers, you know? felt kind of hokey about it, but uh, it is what it is. But, you know, I have to say, some of my favorite episodes of the Game Chasers is, of course, the Rue-Pat rivalry with them. I, I love it. You know, it it's all, you know, fun and games. You know, they're constantly pranking each other, you know, talking shit to each other. And, you know, I just love the chemistry that they, they bring to each other. You know, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, Pat has been... Pat the NES Punk has been the button of the Game Chasers jokes for quite some time. And the fact that he finally, you know, caught them slipping and did that to them, I don't want to give it away because I want you guys to watch this episode. It was it was pretty it was bittersweet. I have to admit it was very bittersweet. It was kinda cool. And uh, you know, Billy really wanted that Contra box and finally worked out a deal with Pat and got that. But the seeing the ways and the ideas that he was coming up with to get that box was absolutely priceless. And I have to say, all those toys at MAGFest they were finding was really, really cool because it reminded me of the early 90s when video game toys were kind of obscure to find. I remember if it wasn't tied into a movie or if it wasn't a McDonald's Happy Meal toy or some Burger King toy thing, it was kind of hard to find a toy of your favorite video game character. So I thought that was really cool and it really shows the popularity of video games over the years of how it's kind of expanded. And speaking of expanding, if you guys have not checked out the Game Chasers, uh, I'll have a link right here below of that latest episode. You guys check it out, subscribe to them, leave your own video response, join in on the fun, who knows, you might get a free game out of it, and also find an awesome new channel to watch. Like I said, it's a win-win. I think this is an awesome idea that they're doing. But anyway guys, Thanks for watching, and as always, happy gaming.